So the theme that we're running with is turning numbers into art. So we could take another amazing pattern called the prime number sequence. And we've been told for 2000 years that the prime numbers, which I'm going to explain what they are, are a nonsense sequence. They're basically saying, don't go there. Don't go looking at prime numbers because they could be a key to the universe. And you'll see how, why the queen wears this coating on her crown chakra. You'll see why. So let's just define what a, uh, well, the title is called the prime number cross, which is the Maltese cross mm -hmm. that we know, but I'm seeing it as a fourth dimensional Templar cross. The prime number cannot be divided by any other number except itself or one. So a number like nine isn't prime because it's divisible by three. So in our times table, the, the, when we had the 81 numbers of the times table, if we delete all the two times table and three times table, delete any factors of four, if we deleted all those five times everything, what's left are the numbers that cannot be divided. And it's called the sieve of Erastosthenes. It's a hard name, Erastosthenes. The sieve Ara of... Erastosthenes. It sounds like Erastosthenes, but last time, Arist I said, last time I said Erastosthenes to a Greek person, they laughed at me and they said, you mean <laughs> Erastosthenes? Or... Okay. So I'm not sure, actually, I'm just laughing. Fine. But you can see here, this we've crossed out the two, two, four, six, eight, anything divisible by mm -hmm. two or three or four, cross them all out, and what's left is like a sieve is these numbers here in um, brown. Look at mm -hmm. all the brown numbers. 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23. So I would advise a child to learn those numbers like, say, a, a phone line to God, just like a magic square is a magical matrix of numbers. I would, from the research, I would say learn the prime numbers because just by learning that sequence, you're re routine your neural circuitry. I really, I know that sounds cosmic. We, we know that there's, it's called the prime number sequence, but again, it's just an academic series of numbers means nothing until we go in with our X-ray goggles. But we have to find a way how to go in to pull it out. So this is my gift because I've got those X-ray, I guess because I've got a birthmark here on my third eye. Mm. It's kind of saying I've got to look at these from another perspective, it's there, the information is all there, but how do we extract it? So I decided to use um, num uh, um, converting the, the numbers into art. So what we need to do now, okay, we get, you know how we did the nine point circle before. Um, I'm going to divide the circle into 24 because if I don't use 24, the magic, it won't open, the flower won't open in a sense. Mm -hmm. But like I said at the beginning of this talk, 24 is... Dividing the circle into 24 like time is the key to time travel. It's a stargate. So, and it's also the key to get the 108 frequency that I'm obsessed about. Right, so I'm just showing you that no other number will work. Only base 9 and base 24. 24 is like 12 to me as well. It's 12 Rem times. Remember how I said if this was a sphere, the cube octahedron, if there's a sphere in the middle, how many other spheres pack around a central sphere? It's 12. And that was our matrix of creation right so mm -hmm. 12 is a, is a galactic base but 12 and 24 are similar in this regard okay i'm going to divide the circle into mm -hmm. 24 mm -hmm. so it's a clock mm -hmm. now we're going to write the numbers 1 to 24 mm -hmm. we'll call it our first ring of 24 we've got to give it a name it's a circle a ring of 24 but just like when you drop a stone into the pool you get many ripples well, now we're going to write another ring of 24 and another ring. We can go infinite. So we're going to do infinite rings of 24. So you can see here now mm -hmm. that we're going to write the next 24. Mm -hmm. And then the next 24. And you just go on and on and on. Now, this, this is a typical Jane Mathematics worksheet. So when I, when I have students on weekends and we go all day, I, don't, I get them to discover this. I don't just ever give them the results. I get them to do all of this that we see. So here's the rings of 24. Now, you just learned what the prime numbers are. What, what if I gave you a color pencil and I said, I want you to highlight all the um, prime numbers now in here. Mm -hmm. So let's look at the first ring. So we're going to look at the first ring and we're going to say, there's, there's the prime numbers, 1, 5, 7, 11, 13, there's a few there. And then we look at the next ring. We're, we're just exploring. Mm -hmm. we, don't, we don't know what we're going to get. Mm -hmm. And we'll do one more. 
Now, what I'm about to show you is only half the answer because this doesn't, if this was a perfect solution or symmetry, let's say that, see how we've got, see how we've got 5, 29 and 53, they're all highlighted in a row. Mm -hmm. But when you, when you look here, the 55, we, we would have liked to see a, a ring around the 55, but it's missing because 55 isn't prime. It's made up of 5 times 11 and down here, 11, 35 is not, isn't prime. Nice seven five. So it's not a perfect thing, but basically every prime number in the universe would lay on, on six angles of on those lines. Now, that's how many, let's see how many axes we've got. So I'm going to highlight the axis. So you can see there's one axis, oh, four axes, sorry. two axes, mm -hmm. three axes, four axes. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to fill it in a bit. And you can see when I fill it in uh, that we've just generated what we call the prime number cross because we understood the magic of 24. And we'll come to, mm -hmm, to that mm -hmm, later on, mm -hmm. 24. Okay, so we're, so this now this was the symbol of the Cathars, as you know, the, um, the, Knights Templar. the Knights Templars. It shows you basically how a million Cathars were murdered in, in the Roman Catholic Church attempt to delete the bloodline of Jesus. That where does this symbol appear? And you can see that, well, let's say she's the most powerful woman in the world, even though the Roman, the British Empire is not ruling the world so much now, but their symbol was, what, I mean, basically, why the question is, why would the Queen wear this mathematical symbol of the prime number cross on her cape if it didn't have extraordinary meaning? Because to me, the prime numbers aren't just numbers, they're the atoms of creation. A nine magic square like this. This is a five by five, but see how one's in the middle? Mm -hmm. On your graph paper, just start writing the numbers around it like a spiral. See, see yes. how it, so yeah. if you did that to infinity, another mystery will open up. This, so this is nothing new, but this is something that we had to wait for technology to reveal something. So we're only doing five by five, 25 numbers, and we're going to highlight all the prime numbers. But if we highlight all the prime numbers, we're not going to get anything. It just, it's too small. Mm -hmm. But it's not until we take that spiral to infinity, thanks again to technology, which is this symbol, which is what we are anyway, if we could take this data to infinity and keep spiraling around and highlight all the prime numbers, this is what we get. We, we, there's a suggestion of a flower here. Is that what, what do you, what do you see? Like if you squinted your eyes, do you see it? Yeah, definitely. I would there's suggest some form of symmetry, isn't yes, it? Yes, absolutely. And that was by a Russian, so it's called Ulam's Rose. Mm -hmm.